California has the Terminator, but we've got the Automator. Hi, I'm Leo Laporte. Welcome to another exciting episode of Mac Break with Sal Sagoyan, the king of Apple Script from Apple Computer. Thanks hey, for Sal. having me back, Leo. I, I love it. these Automator things. It really shows you, I mean, we're these are little bits of pieces that, of things you can do, but it just shows you how much power there is in this desktop. It's just mind blowing, really. There's so much in Mac OS X that you can take advantage of. It's just almost impossible to yeah, know all the things. It's very deep. And Automator covers the gamut of just about everything you can do on your computer. And we all do these little things over and over and right. over again. And why not? Why not automate them? Why not make them an easy thing that you don't have to think about? Well, now, it's not just things you want to do over and over again. It might be things that you couldn't do otherwise, ah. but really simplify them. For instance, Father's Day is coming up. And we got a great <laughs> idea for you for a last minute Father's Day gift. This is true. I, I got this idea from Jim Hyde, and it's really a clever one, of creating a life poster. Uh, a 20 by 30 inch poster that you can have printed on the iPhoto store that contains all these little small thumbnails of images from your oh, iPhoto cool. collection. Those are good for and grads, dads, yeah. and weddings. And weddings particularly. Oh. You, you rearrange your photos so it's at the beginning and to the end and it becomes all one poster oh, that you can okay. have shipped to somebody and given as a gift. Let's see how you would do okay. it. If you had to do it in Photoshop, it'd take a while of laying uh, this stuff it'd out. It'd be pretty painful. Yeah. So I have a, an album here of a bunch of different images, you know, with uh, kids and the baseball team and things. Things, the kind of images that dads want to see I on like, the wall over yep. and over to let them know yep. why they're there working that's, to begin with. That's right. So I'm just going to select the images in this uh, album here and then I'm going to open up Automator and let's create a workflow that will take those images and then turn them into this life poster. Now it's interesting because I watched Sal think about how to do this and you think in Automator because you were saying okay I'm going to do this and this and this and you thought it all out ahead of time. It's amazing to watch you do this. Well, we all actually program just by living our computer lives anyway. Right. When you do a, a task on the computer, it's usually just a series of sequences. steps yeah. that you don't intuitively think about. Right. But if you stop for a second and break them down into, well, what is it that I do? then you can usually find an action that corresponds right. to each part of that step and then you just link the actions together. So that's what you were doing. You were walking through the process and then you're thinking, okay, I need that, need that, need that. Right. Oh, that's neat. Show us, show us what comes So with. I'm using a couple actions here that I've gotten from automator.us, which is a great site. Uh, go to the downloads page and you'll see that uh, pretty close to the top there's this action called create thumbnail poster. And just download that and run the installer and it will install into uh, so this is an Apple script that really is doing the bulk of the work here. Yes, it's yeah. a combination of Apple script and some of the other languages too. Okay. It's multi-language. It's a big deal. Okay. Yeah, but it's easy for you. All right. So the first thing. Did you thing, write this one, or who, who wrote this? Uh, actually, I Did had Jim something it? to write it, write it, and and uh, John Nagy from Apple okay, also cool. wrote part of the That's code nice. as well. So the first thing we're going to do is get the selected iPhoto items, right? Okay. Because I just selected all the photos. Right. Then the next step is I want to create this thumbnail poster and we're going to create it as a PDF file. Okay. Now, when you're dealing with a lot of images, having them as a combined PDF is a great way because we're going to have to send this to a company to have it printed right. or take it to a service bureau. Right. So PDF is really good for that. And you'll see that it, there's a, uh, an action now called create thumbnail poster. Now that's the one we downloaded. Yes. Okay. Now you can choose to have your thumbnails appear in a variety of ways. You can make them square, horizontal, or vertical. So if most of your shots are, are horizontal, then that would be good. If most of your shots are vertical, then use that. Otherwise, use square. And the action will try to center each photo anyway inside of whatever frame okay. you pick. Okay. And let's put this right on the desktop. Now, once it's created this file, it's going to take all of those images and put them into one PDF. I want to re-render that as a single image at a certain resolution. And there's an action that comes with Mac OS X Automator. It's called Render PDF Pages as Images. And I'm just going to leave it as a JPEG resolution, 200 dots per inch, that's fine. And then I'm going to import that back into iPhoto and just put it in the library and have it delete the source image when it's done. You wouldn't have to do that. In this case, we're going to use the iPhoto service, yeah. printing service, so right. it's good to or put it back Or you could in just you know, take the PDF file to a service bureau if you want to do that okay. too. But I mean, Apple's service really does make it oh, do quite nice easy. Job. And yeah. they can ship copies to whoever you want. So you just go down your Christmas <laughs> list or your Father's <laughs> Day list idea. or your mom list or whatever and have it sent and you're always on time and you're I the like good son. I like that. <laughs> I could use so this. So here's our workflow. Get the uh, pictures that we have selected create this poster, then render that big PDF file down to a single image, okay. and then add that back into iPhoto, and we'll just select Run. 
So it's already gotten the iPhoto items, and you can see here on the workflow that it's going to create the thumbnail poster. Now it's launching a, a process called Make PDF that's built into Mac OS X. Really? Yes. Oh, that's neat. Mac OS X has a very powerful PDF architecture. I love that, though. You can make PDFs from anything by printing to a PDF. Oh, yeah. It really is handy. From any, any application yeah. dialog, you can do that. And there's also an application that's built into image capture, and it's called Make PDF. And if you ever have looked at the options that you have available in the image capture application, you'll see that making a PDF or printing images to PDF is one of them. Well, this action just ties into that so image that, capture architecture that's already there. Is that, is that a core service then? It must yeah. be. It is. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, part of the PDF kit that's part of that's Mac fantastic. OS X. So this takes a little bit it's a because it's file. dealing with 72 different images and, uh, uh -oh. and bringing up an error. <laughs> oh, nuts. Well, let's see. The end result we get is okay now it's rendering so even it though might we have, got no, error, it did it anyway all right <laughs> never mind that error apple script is very resilient it totally is yeah. that's what that's what we like about so it. this is probably a fairly large file oh yeah yeah so there Look it at is that. wait a minute we got it it brought it back into uh iphoto for us and uh you can't exactly see the whole thing so i'm going to open it up here in pre in preview so you can see the entire image here Look is the that. Here is the iLife poster. And this is going to be almost three feet by it's two It's 20 feet. by 30, wow. which is a it's poster huge. size you can order. And if we go view by actual size, you can get a, an idea of the particular thumbnails here. And this you can really see, cool. you know, that they are very big. And once you put that on the wall, you'll be looking at it all I day long. It. I love it. So a quick and easy way to make a nice gift for dad. Kids, I hope you're watching. Sal Segoyan is the man of Apple Script at Apple Computer, and we're glad to have him as a regular on MacBreak. Thank we're you. We're glad you're a regular on MacBreak. Please come back soon. We'll see you in a bit. I'm Leo Laporte.